this may very well be the first and only Wendy Go laptop in the world. What does that mean? Well, we're about to find out and I'm taking you with me. All right, we're here. So I've put everything on the ground. So let's just begin with the beginning. What exactly are we unboxing here? Well, it's a laptop made by a German company called Tuxedo and they basically make your laptops made to order. So they are custom made. You can choose what you want to have in them. Mine is packed with hardware. <laughs> RTX 3080, AMD Ryzen 9, 5900HX, I believe. Not sure anymore, but I think that was inside. And a special surprise that we'll see soon. So, one thing that's really important about the uh, Tuxedo computers is that they, well, they don't screw you over. And I think that's really cool. Like, they basically support the right to repair. They give you warranty even after you opened it. So it's it's really cool. And they make all the drivers for the, the hardware in-house. They publish it as open source. You basically can change them. You can install them on your own Linux distribution. And yeah, they get pre-installed with Linux. So that's another cool thing. I think I chose not to do that because I'm gonna install my own Linux distribution. So there's a seal on it, I see, that's pretty cool. There we go. Whoa. Goofy. I guess, oh my God, this thing is heavy. I don't know what's inside. I think, oh, nice. I needed a new mouse pad. This is awesome. Holy shit. Okay, this is what $3,000 worth of a custom laptop gets you. Whoa. Oh my God. Okay, this is unlike anything I've ever seen. Quality checked by Tux. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just gonna move up a little bit. Look at that. Okay, that is pretty amazing. That that is that is amazing. That is wow. Okay, before we get to the laptop, let's get into the other things. You know, keep, keep the excitement up. I don't know what this is. Same quality checked sticker, and it's got. Ooh, a bunch of goodies. AMD Ryzen stickers, for some reason, they didn't put them on directly. A notepad, okay. That's gonna be a dream journal. Manual and a, I believe it's in German, but it, I probably, I think it's the, uh, the warranty card or something, service card. So, notepad, stickers, charging brick, which is huge, which is unsurprising. And a key card, key, key cord, key, key cord. That's the, the thing I needed, the word I needed. So, and I also needed the word word, as I just recall. Oh, a USB flash drive, okay. Oh wait, this is WebFi. So WebFi is a um, USB bootable thing that they use to recover your system. It's not something you have to use, but uh, it's nice and we're not gonna use it, so. <laughs> because I'm gonna install something else. But this is the creme de la creme. The thing we've all been waiting for. Now, there's one thing I'm really a little bit scared about because this ain't a normal laptop. As you heard me saying in the beginning, this is about the first and only Wendigo laptop. I'm showing it to you guys first because I had Holy shit, oh my God. Whoa. Fucking Jesus, check it out. Holy moly. Okay, there's no other laptop in the world that has this. It's the only Wendigo brand laptop. And it's branded with someone named Ghoster and then My Dragon, because that's cool. Whoa. Okay. Check it out. All right, so we got the Ubuntu on it. Okay, so it is pre-installed with something. And, um, whoa, this screen is sharp. Damn, this is good. Wow, look at that. 
Damn, that's it's thin. It's surprisingly thin. It's it's cool. Okay. Okay, so I can choose a language, so I'm just gonna go with English. My mouse is oh yeah. Maybe I should remove the press plastic uh, front. Ah, that feeling is always so nice. And there's a manual on the trackpad. Is it something I can remove? Because that is actually the thing I was annoyed about. Because the trackpad feels a little plasticky right now. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it off. There we go. Okay, now it feels nice. So you can enable or disable the trackpad by tapping twice here. Which is good to know. Okay, let's continue. Alright, we're back at our laptop and then installed everything. So we're we're finally here. So yeah, this is the default desktop that you end up in, and um, apparently if you press this button right here, the speed button, you get to this configuration tool, and my god, wow, this is something I love. You know, normally you got these branded configuration tools for gaming, laptops, and PCs, and they basically are from Acer, from Dell, or from whatever and they work only on Windows, they sometimes require you to use an account, but check this thing out. This Tuxedo Control Center is fully open source, it works with all the hardware inside, and it's, yeah, it's just amazing. You don't need an account, you can change your keyboard colors, you can do anything you want, you can even make your own tools if you want. That is amazing. So we got the GPU running here, the GPU fans, you can see them spinning, you can see the, G the CPU frequency, CPU temperature, things that really don't, don't mean much to me, honestly, because I'm not really a PC guy. But I, I mean hardware guy, but it's pretty cool to see. So you have different power profiles you can set. Oh, we have a number keyboard, nice. I didn't even see that. Nice, okay. Let me check if I can find the configured keyboard somewhere. That will be lovely. Uh, key. Oh yeah, <laughs> this keeps messing up. I love how these things just go unplanned, you know. Um, regional language, I guess this, ah, it's set to German. Yeah, that's the reason why. So apparently they did that during testing or something. So what we will do is we'll set it to English US. Yeah, now we're good, it's awesome. Okay, um, so yeah, I think that there isn't really much else to do here right now. The control center is basically the hottest item in the list. Uh, for the rest, it's mostly Linux stuff. I just hope that I could zoom in on this thing, but apparently I can't. So I could have made this bigger. I just hope that, oh, here's a better terminal. Look at that. Okay, now you guys can watch along with me. At least I think, if the camera is focusing. I'm just making it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit readable, or I think. Maybe if I tune it a little bit like that. Okay, good enough for me. Okay, so NVIDIA dash SMI. Ah, there we go. Look at that. GeForce RTX 3080. And we got 16 gigs of GDR, GDDR RAM. We got 60 gigs of GDR, and wow, this is awesome. All right, so um, this is cool, but there's one more thing I wanted to show, because there's one thing our show actually see, because I haven't seen it myself yet. Um, the BIOS. There is something really, really nice about the BIOS, and I don't know how you get in there. I guess it's F2. So this is the premium BIOS. So you can change the webcam, you can change the Wi-Fi. So basically it is a hardware switch to disable the webcam. I'm gonna install this laptop the way I want it and configure it and share this video of course with you guys. And I hope you have loved this. If you wanna see more weird unboxing of cool tech, uh, feel free to tell me and I will just, uh, you know, we'll buy more of this stuff and we'll see how it goes. As far as Tuxedo goes, I am really pleased. They have replied within a day despite saying that they have busy times and the busy schedules. They have an interesting community, the people are very motivated, and the company is very open towards basically everything that they do. I was waiting, I think, almost a month for this laptop, which is a pretty long time, but given that it's all customized and given how busy they were and how 
close they were with me with everything that was going on emailing me about the things that were happening uh, you know I, I gotta give them credit for them I am absolutely pleased the way they handled this so a big big shout out to Tuxedo if you're a privacy conscious or even paranoid person like I am but still want to game and do things freely without being constrained to a machine that is almost completely shut off the internet and doesn't have any onboard graphics then this machine is absolutely for you because it's reasonably secure as far as laptops and PCs go. It's got all the hardware that you need. You can customize it to your needs. You can open it. You can add more hardware to it if you want. For instance, I'm going to add another uh, NVMe flash drive to it. Well, if you want to see more of this, of course, feel free to tell me and I'll try my best. <laughs> Thanks for watching and of course, I hope to see you next time.